everybody, Papa Blue Shirt here. I'm gonna do something crazy today. I'm gonna change my crank set on my e-bike. This is what I got here. First thing we gotta do is break loose this thing here. Let's see how bad it is. Uh, oh, yep. I kinda wondered if I'd be able to get it with this, but looks like I can. How many of you actually use these other gears on the front? I don't use them hardly at all. I'm hoping to go off-road some more in the fall when it cools off a little bit. Maybe I'll use it then, but so far, I haven't used it hardly at all. <laughs> see if I can keep from getting my hands all greasy here today. Pull this chain off. And I got this little tool here to get this off with, so let's see how this works. All right, slide this this way. And from what I've seen, you just back this all the way off. Until it's all the way off. And what we'll do is we'll use that to, to push off the crank if it fits. If it fits. I think it just has some dirt in it or something, I think. problem with the tool here had it had a little a burr on it and so it wasn't going in very good so I took a hacksaw and got the burr out of the way so now I'm hoping it'll work I'll screw this in all the way there it is now tighten this all the way up and this should pull that off. You know, I happen to think I might want to take these pedals off of there before. But I just kept working on it. One thing I do know, you're not going to get it off of that. <laughs> That's just for looks, I think. There we go. It's off. Now I can take this back off of here. I'm gonna pull this chain up as high as I can get it here because I want it to be on the, the top of this thing when I put it on, not the bottom. Yeah. 
There we go. All right, now I just tighten this up here. Until it's tight, I was trying to make sure if it was seated all the way, and it looks like it is. Looks like it's seated all the way. I think these are supposed to be like 400 foot pounds or something. I'm gonna have to adjust my derailleur here, it looks like. Hits that thing. Hits the derailleur, the front derailleur. I think that's probably tight enough. Let's see if I can adjust this derailleur. I got it loosened already. I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach the third gear. Got that pipe this time. I took off my jack handle for my jack. So if you have a have a floor jack and you can take the handle off. Might be able to use it to get extra leverage. Oh yeah, there we go. There. Eat the cake. Tight. Get all the dirt and stuff off of here. Make sure you do the, the pedals the opposite way. All right, now I got this put the pedal on. Mine's got a gap there. You know, I put it's pretty tight, and uh, the gap on both sides is about the same. So. Okay, this one goes on the opposite way of what you would think. All right. Now all I gotta do is adjust the derailleur and uh, I had a feeling I ain't gonna be able to use all three of those sprockets until I get a different derailleur, but we'll see. Well, there it is. Um, I got it to get the top two gears. I'm going to have to get a different derailleur for it to reach the other one. But I never go up there anyway, so...
Oh yeah, this changes it. Gotta do some adjustments on the derailleur, but at first I thought it didn't make a difference, and then I realized I was in the other gear once I changed it up. Oh yeah, I could pedal like this all day. <laughs> well, I took it out for a test ride earlier, and now I'm out for my normal ride. But it's afternoon, and I don't know how long I can ride today because it's so hot. But yeah, so far I like it. I'm humbled that you would uh, consider giving me a gift like that. And so I thank you very much and stay tuned for more videos. Well, that's that. I'll let you know how it goes. Goodbye, good luck, and may the good Lord take a liking to you. May the good Lord take a liking to you. Hallelujah. May he spread his blessings on your trail. Hallelujah. May he be your guide anywhere you ride. And be always your host when you're needing him most. May the good Lord take a liking.